Let's talk briefly about sums and recurrences. We've talked a bit about how sequences can be defined, and they can be defined using recurrence relations, but it turns out that this is actually really helpful for determining sums. So if I let a n be defined for n equals 0 to infinity, if that's any sequence, I can define a sum of the first n plus 1 terms as being the sum from i equals 0 to n of a sub i, which is a0 plus a1 all the way through a n. This sum is actually part of a sequence. If I think about the partial sum, the nth sum is s sub n. So now I have a sequence, and I have a form of describing it in terms of summing up the first n plus 1 terms of my other sequence, but we also have a recurrence relation for this sum. So now I can define my first term to be the first term of my original sequence, but then if I'm going from the n to n, n minus 1 to nth term of my sum sequence, I just take my n minus 1th sum and I add in the nth term of my sequence. So I can define these partial sums using the sum notation, or I can use this recurrence relation. And it's this recurrence relation that will allow us to prove closed forms of sums using mathematical induction. For example, let's consider this summation. If I start with a sequence where a sub n is always the number n, and then I consider the sum i equals 0 to n of the sum i, what I'm essentially doing is I'm adding up the numbers from 0 to n. But what I mean when I'm, if I want to define this with a recurrence relation, I'll start with s0 being 0. I start with s0 being 0, and then for n at least 1, I can define it using a recurrence relation. s sub n is equal to s sub n minus 1 plus the number n. And this, rec this recurrence relation is actually how you would prove the closed form of the sum. So while this summation notation for s sub n looks kind of like a closed form, it's not really a good, efficient way of computing the sum because I have to add up n plus 1 terms. However, to finish this closed form, I can plug in n and I can immediately, within a finite number of algebraic operations, find the answer I want. So that's a very nice form to have. And using mathematical induction, we can prove this later.